guys, it's me, Karen, and I'm back with another video. But before we get started, let's subscribe, let's like, and definitely let's comment. Today, I'm going to do and show you guys my handbags. I know I said I wasn't going to do a handbag video, but like you guys keep asking me, hey, I like your bag, hey, I like your bag. So I am going to do a handbag video. And then as I'm showing you, I'm going to do a split screen at the bottom and show you how I wore the items. Now, you know, you guys, I have, everyone has their favorite, but of course I have my favorite bags that are my go-to. I like to matchy. I am a matchy, matchy person. I do like to match my colors. I also like to match my shoes. If I have on Gucci shoes, I like to wear a Gucci bag, um, YSL, so forth and so on so forth and so on sorry guys so if you haven't yet subscribed please do me a favor and subscribe to my channel and what i have on today actually i have my little scissors that my mom bought where she got it i don't know as you guys know i am a hairstylist and a salon owner aside from doing these beautiful beautiful youtube channels i am a salon owner and I'm also a hairstylist um, and a whole lot of other things. But the more you get to know me, the more you'll see. Um, this little top I have on, I actually thrifted for $4.99. It is by Nasty Gal. And this is my first time wearing it. And it's absolutely beautiful. My skirt I got from, if you can see, I got it from Zara. Um, I, know, I know I got this on sale how much I don't remember. And I got my kicks on, they're Jordans. Um, they're black and white, really can't see it. But furthermore, let's get into this video. So my first bag is my YSL Becky bag. It is the large. I had to get the large because I'm a boss and I do boss things. So I had to get the large. You can carry it over the shoulder and then you can carry it this way over the shoulder or you can just carry it like this. Um, I've worn this bag plenty of times and I'm pretty sure you saw it on my Instagram. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, go over to at Miss Glam Down on Instagram and follow me. Ready for the next bag? Okay, now, you guys have seen this bag on my Instagram a thousand times on my stories because this is one of my go-to bags. Um, well, I say she's one of my favorites. I can say she's one of my favorites because um, I wear her a lot. But this is the Gucci Dionys, or Dia, Dia it's spelled D-I-O-N-Y-S-U-S, Dionysus. I don't know. No, I'm not good at these things, but this is her. And this is the largest she comes. Um, as you know, I also, and this is the monogram because it comes in like a plain leather color, red, blue, like a navy blue, a black. It comes in velvet, like they have a lot of selections, but um, I got this last year in Vegas and I love this bag. This is like my favorite one of my favorite bags, so I must say. So anything that you see that goes on the back of my shelf when you see my YouTube, any of my bags, those are my favorite because they're my go-to because I can just grab them and go when I'm going out the house. But um, you can wear her on your shoulder. You can just carry her. <laughs> That's what I do, I just carry her like this. Um, or it drops down and you can put it on your shoulder but this bag is really heavy but um this is a statement bag like every anywhere and everywhere i go people love this bag and i see a lot of people with the minis the medium but this is large it's large that's come because i told you i do large because i am a boss and i do boss things so i need to be bossy so i get everything large okay all right ready for the next bag let's go now, as you guys know, I uh, recently purchased this bag from uh, TG, 
TJ Maxx runway. And um, I wanted this bag for the longest. I wanted it in the grass color because I have the Bottega grass heeled um, boot. But um, I did put my order in and I just never got a call. So one day I'm shopping at TJ Maxx and oh, she was here. So I got it for a freaking steal. Um, and this is her, this is the Bottega Fat Bag in black. Um, I know you probably can see my dirty nails, my nails are bad. Sorry, y'all. Um, but yeah, can't be showing handbags with the, the nails, but I need to do this video because if I don't do it, because today is Wednesday and I'm supposed to be at work, but two of my taping clients canceled. So I don't have any work to do until two o'clock. So I'm like, hey, I'm home. Why don't I do a video? Hey, why not? So here I am doing this video. This is one of my favorite bags as well because I wanted this bag forever. I've only worn one time on a date night, but I've only had this bag for like a month, if that. So I haven't got time, haven't had time to wear it, but it's black. So I know that I am going to get a lot of use out of it, but I only had it for a month. So I haven't been wearing it. I haven't got a chance to wear it, but you know, that's the only way you can wear it. This is like this. Like usually I just, I've been, I just carry it like this. And then it's just, that's all I can do. So, ready for the next. I know I said like every bag is my favorite bag, but this is also my favorite bag. <laughs> if you look at my Instagram, I have carried this bag a lot. Um, I don't know if I got it this year or at the end of last year. I cannot remember, but I know I did get it in my area um, at an MCM store because I love High Low Lux. And she had a picture with this bag, but it was in brown. And immediately when I seen it, I was like, I need that bag. So I went to my MCM store and they had, they did not have the brown, but they had it in black. And if you can see, it's like engraved in a brown, but I didn't care. I love this bag. I'm glad that I bought it in black. I would have loved it in the brown, the chocolate. I would have loved it, but I'm glad I bought it in black because this is another go-to bag. I just grab it off my shelf and it goes with everything. And this is a monogram. This is the monograms Boston bag. It's beautiful. It makes a statement everywhere I go. People ask me about this bag as well. And I absolutely love this bag. I know I said everyone's my favorite, but this is my favorite. So on to the next bag. So I had this bag for a while, since the summer. It's in this beautiful baby blue. It is Gucci. Um, I got it while shopping while I was in Miami. And when I seen this bag, I don't know why I bought it. <laughs> um, because like we were in Gucci and I just like, I felt like I had to get something. I just wasn't liking a lot of stuff. Actually, I had a choice to, choose between these boots because it was the middle of summer and I'm like oh I'm not gonna be able to wear those boots until whenever whatever but I wound up going with the bag actually I'm actually selling this bag as we speak um I is on my Poshmark uh, I'm selling it on Poshmark I for 800 I paid a thousand dollars for it but this is I'm like, sometimes I'm like, I should keep it. I should keep it because it is a frostbite. I do like that about it. But I just, now that I have it on, I'm like, okay, it's cute. Should I keep it? Um, I don't know. Nobody has bought it yet. I had it on Poshmark for two months. And I I, I did put it on my um, my boutique. I have a boutique which, um, at Kiki's Closet. And I will put it across the screen. It's actually on in my boutique as, as well. And um, she, I do put her on the shelf because she makes a great statement piece. 
but um, that's like one, one of my least favorite bags. So I don't really like her. But now that I have it on, I'm like, maybe I should keep it. I don't know. Should I keep it? Should I not? Should I keep it? I don't know. We'll see. So my next bag is my Chloe bag. If you saw me on Instagram, I did an ad for Amazon and I wore this bag in the ad. It's by Chloe. It's gray. It's not leather. It's like a velvet or well, felt felt. And I like this bag. I bought it when I seen it. I saw it in Neiman Marcus shopping and you know I had my eye on it. And I me for one, I know when I'm gonna purchase a bag. When I look, I shop and I see something and it catches my eye. And I'm like, oh, I want to get it, but I don't know. Because sometimes I really don't want to spend the money. And But when I go home and if I think about this item and I can't sleep, well, I really can't sleep, but you know you how you think about something. Like, dang, why, I, why didn't I get that bag? So when I have thoughts like that, I know that I am supposed to purchase the bag. So I actually... Yeah, I actually got this um, at my uh, local Neiman Marcus um, because we shop everywhere. So I have to remember where I buy what. So I actually got it here in Philly um, at King of Russia Mall inside of Neiman Marcus. And I feel like it was a good buy. Like I said, I told you I like really big, like, bags and I have not I wore it on my ad but I have not worn it like with an outfit out in the streets because like I still like there's still a tag inside <laughs> I haven't worn it yet so but I do I do love 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 and when I did my ad um if you want to check out the ad go over to my Instagram at Miss Glam Down and see my collab with Amazon Next bag. My next bag is this Kurt Geiger. It's called, uh, wait a minute. I have the notes. It's called the Leather Kensington Bag. I have this in a dark green. And I have I have worn this once. Um, I got this from a, for a gift from my kids, my daughters, um, for Christmas last year. And I wore it once. And um, you know, I love the style bag because if you notice my YSL bag and my Gucci bag um has the same little chain with the leather straps on the top. They have the same kind of effect, but I do like a heavy chain. And you could wear it, you know, on the shoulder, and you can drag it. You can drag it and wear it like and I know I have worn it crossbody as well. Um very convenient. You can fit a lot of things in here. I like bags that you can fit a lot of items inside. Uh, I'm not really a small bag person because I got a lot of stuff to put in there. So if I can't fit all my stuff in there, then I will not purchase the bag unless I'm buying it for like you know going date night or just to go somewhere real quick and just put your ID like I'm going out and I don't club or go out unless it's like on a date night with my husband so I don't really need a small bag I need a big bag because I'm a big girl and I got big responsibilities so I need to put big things in those bags so that's why I do not buy small small bags about medium on up, but usually all my bags are super large. You will see, you will see. So on to the next. So this bag you guys have seen quite a few times on my Instagram as well, because these, this is one, <laughs> this is one of my favorite bags. I guess all my bags are, well, it gotta be my favorites because I purchased them and I purchased them because I absolutely love what I'm buying. And I'm gonna look back in this video and see my funky nails. But 
whatever. I gotta get this video out. <sighs> now, I do remember where I bought this. I did buy this at Nordstrom when we were in Tyson's Mall. And I was so shocked because I had been looking for this bag and the Fendi in my area did not have this color. They had white, they had gray, but they did not have this color. So I'm glad I did not purchase anything. And so I would like the gray, but I didn't purchase because I wanted this color. But um, my husband and I, we happened to be shopping in Tyson's Mall. We went to Nordstrom, which their Nordstrom has a great selection. Um, and I found her and they had the large because I told you I like large. So what, this is the biggest size. I got it. She's mine and I wear her quite often. And if you don't know, Fendi is my favorite designer. If I can't find anything, I go into Fendi. Fendi is my go-to designer. I love Fendi. Fendi, please sponsor me. Please sponsor me, Fendi. Anyway, on to the next bag. So this is another Kurt Geiger bag. It's in this lovely green that like everybody has this green out. Like every store I go in, they have this green. I even have my nails this green because I love that Bottega did that green. It's the first time I've ever seen that color is when Bottega did it. But once it's been out there, all I see is this green now everywhere. But I actually got this color, I got this last year before... Um, I really have been seeing this color or I have been liking the color. But this is the large. Because you know I like the large. Everything large. This is the large bag. Um, I got this at Nordstrom in my area. Um, it was funny story. Me and my daughter, I didn't even like want a Kirk Geiger bag at the time last year. But my daughter had wanted it so bad and but she wanted black. And we went in the store to go buy her one, but then I come out with one. But she, when I seen this color, I'm like, you're not gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. So I got it. So she was mad, but she wound up finding it in her color that she wanted like two weeks later. So aren't you glad you waited, girl? Cause you could be stuck with this color that you don't really like, that mommy likes. So everything works out in the universe the way it's supposed to, correct? And this is similar to my other bags. I told you I love the chain. I love that you can flip it on that shoulder or you can flip it up. You know, I love them when they do these little leather handles right here so it won't hurt your shoulder. But I carry a lot of things in my bag, so it still hurt my shoulder. But I appreciate you guys thinking of my shoulder. So, on to the next bag. After thinking about and seeing all the bags, I cannot do all these bags in one day. So I'm, or one take or whatever. I'm gonna to have to do a part two of my favorite hair bag. And I even my favorite, yeah, my favorite hair bags, cause I have a lot of favorite hair bags. And I have a lot of bags. I have a lot of everything. So not bragging or anything, but I just like, I just like fashion. So I just buy a lot. like. If you know me, I shop everywhere. I shop Ross. I shop thrift, thrift store. I shop Macy's, not that often. Macy's is not what it used to be. I shop high, I shop low. Doesn't matter to me. I'm a shopper and I can make anything look good. Like my whole outfit. I think I paid for nine or not, I think for $99. I know the skirt is probably like ten dollars. And my shoes are two hundred and something dollars because they're sneakers and they're limited edition. But yeah. It's all how you pair it up. And like I would wear probably either my MCM bag. I would not wear my YSL with this. Um and I also had this cute little Zara bag that I like to uh that I didn't bring out. Let's talk about her before we get into her. This 
this bag was $50 at Zara. And um, this is one of my go-to bags as well. And it has that famous chain that I love. And she's from Zara. So all my bags, I have bags from H&M. I have bags from the thrift store. Um, I have bags from everywhere. And to me, it doesn't really matter what it is. Like, I like what I like. I do like um, high fashion. Um, sometimes I always can't afford it. So I usually save up to get it. Um, I do a lot of outlet shopping and I get really cool stuff. I shop in different cities. I'm just a shopper who loves fashion. Um, and, um, you know, I'm a stylist and a salon owner. So I'm able to make really good money to afford these luxuries. Um, you know, I'm able to take care of my family and help my girls out and take care of my husband, not financially, but I do what he can, what he cannot and he does what I cannot. So we kind of complement each other, which makes it a great marriage. And this is my second marriage. It's also his second marriage. So we kind of knew what we wanted going into it even though we got married six months into knowing each other we've been together for three years now married for two and a half and i swear guys it feels like i've known this man forever like it was just meant to be um but we both had to go through obstacles and hills and things to find each other but the way we found each other was weird because it was way out of what I do. I don't know about him, um, but it happened. We did it, we found each other, and now we're here. And I will say that I'm very happily married and I'm happy to be married to him. But anyway, let's get into her. She is new. I literally bought her last week, literally. I've seen her two times. I seen her in Burberry store, and then I seen her in Neva Marcus. And they were trying to convince me that this bag was a man's bag. And my husband was like, yo, it was in the men's section. I don't give a fuck. Oh, like, first of all, y'all know this is my style. I love a big tote bag. Tote bags are me, because I can fit all my fucking shit in here. I can fit my laptop, my iPad, my phone, my agenda book, my player book, all in here. And look good while doing it. Okay. But this is a Burberry tote fatigue bag. It was in the men's section in Neiman Marcus. I've I seen it twice and I'm like, I really want that bag. I really like that bag. But I'm like, they're trying to convince me that it's a man's bag. So we went in Burberry to get my husband something and the bag was in a midsection as well. And like the guy in Burberry is like, okay, it's a unisex. I don't see why you can't. So I do what I want. So we went Burberry that day to buy it. They did not have it. So we went to Neiman Marcus. Bam, she was just in the midsection sitting there on the shelf. Like, Karen, come take me home. So I got her, purchased it. I, I think I was eyeing this for two months. So I finally broke down and bought her. And um, that's it. I did buy a bag recently. I'm looking at it like, but she beautiful, right? I did buy, I'm about to, this is not my bag though. It's not my bag, but I'm gonna show you the bag. I bought my, my daughter. I know my daughter wanted it, so I purchased it for her. So I love, I love spoiling my grown ass kids. But that's her present. Just to let y'all know that ain't my bag. That's her bag. But I just had to show it because I'm doing this video. I keep looking at it because I have it wrapped up. 
Um, we got that from Nordstrom. I just like bought that like a couple days ago, but that's our Christmas present. Cause she was eyeing it and she was like looking at it like, oh, should I get it, should I get it? So I went behind her back and bought it. And that's gonna be our Christmas present. She's gonna be happy. And I don't know if I'm buying her something. No, they have Uggs to go with it. So I'm thinking about buying her the Uggs with it and then I'll be done with her. And then my other daughter, she wants to move. Ooh, that's my hair. So she did find an apartment. Went to go see it. Um, it's a one bedroom. It's enough room for her. It's close, you know, it's close to me. It's close to work for her. Um, and it's a good price. I feel like she can afford it. And um, my gift to her, I'm going to give her the down payment money for to move in. So I'm going to give her her two months security and her first month's rent to move in the apartment. And that's going to be my Christmas present to her. And she's going to be able to move on January 1st. So I know she'll be happy about that. So that's all the Christmas gifts. And I brought my mom and my mother-in-law gifts already as well. So I still got a few things. Like my husband's going to get one thing because... I already spoiled him enough, so one thing. And we just went shopping Sunday. And um, we went to Woodbury Commons, which it was okay. Like, the hype, everybody was hyping it up. But when I went, like, I've done better shopping in Miami. I've done better shopping in LA. Um, I even did better shopping in NYC. But it was an outlet store, so I've been dying to go. I've never been. Um, seen, saw, conquered. I don't think I'll be going back there again because, um, like every store we literally walked in, like even like my husband's not a shopper, but now he is. But when we went in stores, he was just like, oh, like they don't add nothing. Like they really, the selection like sucks. So 